What's going on, E Nation fans? This is the Empress 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with the Empress. It sure has been a while since I've done this series to talk about anything motorsports related. And I just haven't had like anything really to talk about, like me talking about it. So yeah, but it's been two days since this news has came out about Atlanta Motor Speedway not only getting repaved, but getting rec uh, a reconfiguration. And I wanted to do a video about it today, I, I mean, yesterday and Tuesday, but I just wanted to, like, you know, like, process it, like, think about how I really feel about this. And I'll get to that right away, but just let you guys know, if I do sound different or anything like that, I am sick, um, I've been having a stuffy nose, I had a sore throat, um... So yeah, but I think I've been getting better. So if I do sound any different, that's the reason why I've been sick. Sick on July? How is that possible? I don't know. But anyway, let's begin. So Atlanta Motor Speedway is getting not only a repave, but a reconfiguration. What are my thoughts about it? At first, I was like relieved that Atlanta was getting a repave because it's been forever. And as much as everybody loves, like, old surface racing, tire management, like, I'm all for that. But honestly, last, I don't know how long, like, four years or whatever, last few years, the racing, no matter the package, um, it's been, yeah, not the best. And, um, and honestly, it, it was much needed. It was long, long overdue. And I can understand why people didn't want to repave Atlanta. I understand that, but it needed to be done. And then the other part was uh, they were reconfiguring the corners to 20 degrees and making the track narrower. Honestly, I was interested for it being 28 degrees. Um, and about the narrow part, I don't know. It doesn't look that narrow uh, when they were showing like, the difference between the... 97-2021 layout and 2022 layout. It didn't look that narrow as I thought it would be. And honestly, I thought like they were going to reconfigure it back to the original Atlanta layout. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon or not at all. And then this is where it became a problem to me. Their goal was to be like... They want pack racing at Lanamore Speedway, a mile and a half facility. That's where the problem began to me. Like, you have got to be kidding me. Like, I understand if you want to repave, reconfigure it, but if your goal is to have pack racing, that's fucking stupid. But, you know, NASCAR is just trying to continue to be like an entertainment thing instead of like a... Motorsport series like it's like they're not even trying to be great again uh, like a great racing series again like it was before and It's just unfortunate the real problem is that They were like, you know what? Let's 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 change Atlanta. Let's reconfigure to 28 degree track and the thing is that they didn't let the drivers know like apparently you're supposed to let the drivers know before the the thing started and I can understand the driver's frustration, you know, like Kyle Larson, Chase Briscoe, and of course, most notably, Denny Hamlin. And Denny Hamlin's not wrong. He said something about SMI is known for ruining tracks. They ruined Texas um, when they reconfigured it, uh, take away turn one, two degree banking from 24 to 20, and... And that became a terrible track, but then they put PG-1 it like a band-aid on an open wound. Like, they didn't fix the problem. They just they just got lazy and like, you know what, let's just put PG-1. And guess what? That ruined IndyCar racing at Texas. And then Bristol. Remember Bristol's 36-degree 30, banking layout? And then that took away, like, they took away three degrees of banking. It was turned to concrete. And now it's just like top lane racing, your slide job racing, and all that stuff. And here's the thing. I like Bristol no matter what. It's an awesome track. And I can understand why there's some problems. 
And then Bristol became good when they had a PJ1. That's just my personal opinion. And then everybody knows the spring Bristol race has been like not special. You don't want to know what they do? They put dirt on it. And I can understand why Hamlin has a problem with it. Because SMI is always known for like either changing things that are not broken or like change something and then it doesn't work out. Something like that. And the fact that they're doing this to Atlanta to be like a little Daytona or Taldega, I think that's fucking stupid. It's very ridiculous that that's pretty much their goal. Like, I don't know if that's really the case. I hope that's not the case. But because of NASCAR, you know how they are. That's probably going to be the case. But I hope I'm wrong, though. I hope I'm wrong. And from what I heard, the Gen 7, it's going to be like a 650 horsepower. So they up, uh, they, um, when they updated like 100 horsepower more for like, I guess, big tracks. I'm assuming. I just hope they're not restricted engine. I swear to God. But seriously, why do we need Atlanta as another Daytona Talladega? Like, Daytona and Talladega is already enough. Especially Talladega. But that's a story for, that's a story for another day. Um,. Like, we already have Daytona tell they go, why do we need Atlanta to be part of a super speedway kind of track? We don't need that. Atlanta is supposed to be, like, an iconic track, a great track, very, very, um, I think mostly fan favorite track because of the the racing, like, the, the skills, tire management, you know, all those things. But, of course, NASCAR continues to um, listen to... Um, new fans that don't know about motorsports and they just they just care about like the bullshit entertainment gimmicks instead of not skilled and nascar is like all right we will do that like i try so hard to i try to have faith in nascar to be great again after brian friend like because, like, at the time, Brian France was gone. I was hoping, like, this was a good chance for NASCAR to learn from their mistakes. And then, um, here we are, like, two, three years after uh, his arrest. And then, like, I guess two years after his departure as CEO, fucking finally. Um, I thought NASCAR would, like, take a uh, slow... Um, fix to be a great motorsports series again. I try to be positive about it. I try. There were times I've been nervous for them because I don't want them to be like an ent- a BS entertainment stick and ball sport on wheel series. And then I'm more concerned like the, the, the new fans that are going to watch NASCAR be like, oh, hey, it's always been like this. No, that's not right. That's not how it is and that's not how it should be. And here we are, like, two, three years later. I feel like I'm starting to get my hopes. Uh, like, honestly, I'm starting to feel hopeless for NASCAR again. Even without Brian France, they always find a way to fuck up. Like, not only they don't listen to, like, actual motorsports fans, but they also don't talk to the drivers. They, they always ignore... Um, the drivers, what they think, and all that stuff. Even when they see, like, an opinion, uh, I don't know. They just either ignore it or be like, oh, everything's great. We like we like what we're seeing. It's fucking ridiculous. I try to have faith for NASCAR's future. Because I thought there will be, like, a racing series again. Unfortunately, that's pretty much not the case. I, I know I'm, I, I sound off topic, but that's pretty much the problem I have and a lot of race fan, real race fans problem is that NASCAR's turning Atlanta into like another day to Talladega for quote entertainment instead of race instead of actual natural competition like what are you doing we don't want that we want what we want is natural racing like, not everything is going to be good racing. You know what? I'm okay with dominated races. I'm okay with boring races. Why? Because it's natural. Yeah, I know it sucks at times, but I prefer 
natural um, competition, whether it's good or not, than forced gimmicky entertainment. Like, if NASCAR is still going to that direction, they're going to the wrong ass fucking direction. Like, NASCAR is still being bad. Even Formula One ratings in the U.S. have grown. IndyCar ratings have grown. I believe IMSA ratings have grown. And and it's sad to see that. And honestly, it's sad to see NASCAR the way they are. It's still a top, quote, motorsports series. Like, number one still. Like, how the fuck? Honestly, they don't deserve to be number one racing series to watch because they're not even trying to be racing series i think it's stupid (sighs) like i don't know what else to say i'm still annoyed about this and it's been a problem for a long time that nascar as my whatever they'll do whatever uh to make things more of an entertainment than uh than competition um Again, back to SMI. When it comes to repaves, they do a shit job. Again, um, like re- the repave tracks, whether it's SMI or not, like the repave tracks, like Texas, they ruined it. Bristol, there's some issues with it, but you know what? Let's let's cover it with dirt. And honestly, I was fine for the Bristol dirt race just for this year, but then they're gonna do it again. I'm like, no, it's not gonna feel that special. It, now they're trying to make Atlanta as a Dayton Talladega, and that's just not just just not it. And of course, they don't talk about the drivers. They don't talk to the drivers. They never listen. That's the power of the sport. That's why NASCAR's not as good. They don't listen to the drivers, and. They don't listen to like actual motorsports fans that know about racing. I feel, I feel like we got some people in NASCAR who don't even know a goddamn thing of how motorsports work. And that's why NASCAR still sucks. And you want to know what's even funny? I don't want to say like funny funny, but you want to know something? It's funny how NASCAR is like, oh, we care about the driver's safety, yet they're going to take away 40 more horsepower at Daytona in August because Joey Logano doesn't feel safe like I'm not a race car driver well Logano I don't know he was being soft at that like Austin Dillon almost fucking died six years ago and um guess what nothing changed except for like the green white checkered rule stuff other than that everything else is fine like I get like I get it I'm also for safety but it's funny how that they care about driver safety yet we got like BS entertainment like this and I feel like with gimmicks, it's going to be even more dangerous. And with Atlanta being a wannabe super speedway race, of course, that's just not thinking about safety. I don't know. That's just me. And in conclusion, this news um, shows how stupid NASCAR and SMIR are. Um, so, yeah. Maybe if they actually talk to the drivers, and maybe if they actually give a shit about real motorsports sp- fans like myself, maybe NASCAR would be better. But no, it's all about entertainment. Yep, that's what we want. We don't want no competition. We don't want natural competition. We want every race to be two, three wide racing, side by side, photo finish, every goddamn race. Yep, that's what we want. <sighs> That's one of the things why I hate seeing NASCAR getting new fans. This is one of the reasons why I hate new NASCAR fans. Because is they just like care about like the entertainment. They don't care about actual competition. They just care about the gimmicks. That's why I don't support NASCAR getting new fans. I try to. I try. I actually tried. It's hard. It's just NASCAR doing a bad job. Once again, NASCAR continuing. To have an identity crisis with terrible management. Like, here's the thing. I would have been fine if, like, yeah, I get it. Repay, reconfiguration, that's cool. But no, we don't want to see pack racing. We don't want to see more gimmicks. We don't want to see, 
like fake entertainment shit. We don't want that. My God, like it's okay to have natural boring races. It's okay to have natural racing. It's okay to have mediocre races because it's actual natural competition. Not every race is gonna be good. Unfortunately, NASCAR tries to be like the best thing ever, but they're not. So what do we learn from this situation? NASCAR uh, only gives a damn about what um, casuals and real non-racing fans think, and they're just continuing to be want to be entertainment product, which is stupid. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Of course, I'm he. I never expected to be like. I wouldn't say heated, but I'm more like I'm annoyed, but I never expected to be like heatedly annoyed. So yeah, if I didn't make sense, I apologize and all that. I just do my best to like explain whatever. But I'm just tired of NASCAR stupidity. So what do you guys think about the Atlanta Motor Speedway reconfiguration? And that's gonna do it for another episode of Racing Topics of the Impress. And just let you guys know the the eight year anniversary fifteen hundred subscriber again Q and A special still going. Expect a new stop motion race. To, to be published on Saturday, 1.30, I think. And also, I am working on the 20th episode of Racing Stories. And it's going to take a while. So, yeah. I, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for war. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting E Nation. This is the Impress 48 signing off and fuck NASCAR.